Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Our topic for today is should I use technical analysis or fundamental analysis in futures trading? I believe this is the first challenge that many of the traders face with because especially like for example, I'm going to give you an example. When we build our trading system, the first steps that we need to do is to identify our trading tools. So commonly, we are going to face with the question, are we going to use technical analysis or are we going to use fundamental analysis or are we going to use both technical analysis plus fundamental analysis in our trading? Many of the traders, especially for beginners, you're going to find that this is the biggest challenge that you're going to face with. So today, we are going to discuss should we use technical analysis or fundamental analysis in our trading? But first, I need to reiterate this topic is specifically for one product only, which is futures trading. Because if you're going to apply this in the share, for example, your stock trading, they will be different. So, or oh, another way is any trading products uh, is applicable. Meaning you are going to go for trading products, you're not going to go for investing products, then it's okay. So today our concepts, we are going to analyze whether should we use technical analysis or should we use fundamental analysis and mainly in futures trading. So my name is Ting Ting, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channels and on your notification bell. Now. Let us start with our topics, but before that, as usual, we need to do a disclaimer. Our topic for today is only meant for education purposes. There's no buy or sell call. Now, when it comes to analysis, we have two main schools. We have actually many other schools, but we have two main schools. One is fundamental analysis, or what we call it as FA. Another one is technical analysis, which is what we call it as TA. But you can see that this is the rest of it, but I'm not going to focus today. We are not going to focus in terms of what is fundamental analysis or what is technical analysis. For this particular part, you can Google search by yourself. But today, we are going to focus in terms of selecting which type of analysis that we should use in our futures trading. Should you use FA or should you use TA or should you use both? So our focus will be here. Now, so uh, just a quick one, fundamental analysis, you can see that uh, we have economic industry company and technical analysis, we have technical indicators and technical tools. But not only this, uh, we still have many other parts, but it's because of the limitation for this particular chart. So that's the reason we highlighted those important one. Now, what is exactly is a fundamental analysis? We're going to see anything that is going to affect our prices, factors that may affect. Can you see that? The keywords, uh, we are going to analyze that. So that's this part, which is what we call as your fundamental analysis. And exactly what is technical analysis? We're going to study. Can you see the keywords? Your price and also your volume. This is what we call as your technical analysis. But if you want to understand further, you can go and Google search exactly what is technical analysis or what is fundamental analysis or those topics that we have covered in terms of like what is technical analysis, 101, etc. So these are all the concept or all the information that you can learn. Now, let's really understand. Before we answer this question, can you see that in fact we already give you the statement why getting started with technical analysis. Now in short, when you kickstart the first concept, if you are beginners, you can start directly with technical analysis. Later, at the end of the topics, I'm going to give you another two categories of traders. You can purely start with technical analysis. So the first group of traders that you can start technical analysis is basically if you are beginners. So why getting started with technical analysis? Now before we really understand why we need to get started with uh, technical analysis, we need to understand the first concept, types of information available. Now we categorize in terms of information available, we can categorize into two main categories. One is what we call as lagging information, meaning there's a delay. 
when the information arrive or when we manage to digest the information already the information is a delay information or a lagging information like for example your quarterly results as a trial these already consider a delay information because the market maybe the price will really reflected that but the information came out later it is not instantaneous it's not immediate so this categorized as lagging information now second type of information is what we call as current meaning your information is up to date that's the reason why we call it as current information now if you really understand based on this type of information then you understand that technically we should start with technical analysis because we need current which technical analysis provide you with current information now later i'm going to explain to you about this particular part the three reasons why we need to start technical analysis but this will be the one that we are going to look into it so subsequent one is going to derive from this main concept about types of information so we are going to focus in terms of current and why we need to focus in terms of current later i'm going to explain to you but because we need current the information technical analysis provided you with current information because the prices itself is the current information but in terms of fundamental analysis normally all the information will be a lagging information so our focus will be here the current information and why we need the current information so will be digest in these three top three reasons so why we are going to use technical analysis the first reason in terms of time now when it comes to trading uh, especially if later i'm going to discuss about it especially in terms of futures trading uh, the times that we are going to allocate or the market movement it doesn't allow us to have more time to allocate for us to actually analyze fundamental analysis especially for those who are trading for example very short term uh, when it comes to futures trading you know that majority of you you're going to go for very short term even your position traders maybe you're going to hold for one day one week only not too long unlike your stock trading you're going to hold for one year two years as a trial but futures technically is shorter time so when it comes to time uh, first thing you are going to allocate less time in terms of your analysis etc so technical analysis might be more suitable for you it's like i give you an example today you are going to run a marathon but when we are going to run a marathon we are going to divide by into two types of runners one is full time professional runners so if you're professional runners you're going to run uh Technically, you're going to train longer hours as well per day. For example, you're going to train eight hours. But for us, we are we are a, just a leisure runner. Maybe I'm going to train per day is two hours only. So the time that I can allocate in terms of analysis, I'm going to allocate shorter time. I can only allocate or spend less time in terms of my analysis because it's not my full time job. But as a professional traders, they are different. That's why for beginners especially, uh, because of your time allocation, when it comes to trading, it's shorter time. That's the reason why it is even better for you to only start with technical analysis. So subsequent the three reasons, uh, three reasons I'm going to highlight is we are going to focus in terms of technical analysis only, meaning you can totally ignore fundamental analysis. Yes, you did not hear wrongly. You can purely start with technical analysis. Now, the second reason why we can start with technical analysis is because compare, for example, your futures product with your stock. Stock, the volatility is not high, but futures volatility is higher. When your volatility is higher, you need more current information. Still remember just now the key point, the information, we need the current information. So because of the high volatility, you need more current information. Technical analysis is more applicable. So if you're beginners, you can purely use technical analysis. It's not an issue. Now, the third reason why you need to start with technical analysis is in terms of decision making, especially for beginners. Uh, when you are going to interpret a uh, news, for example, or a data, let's say, for example, uh, an export data, 
it's hard for you to interpret because you are beginners. You might not able to interpret uh, based on this export data, these figures, right? Should I buy or should I sell? I might need to learn. So this kind of decision making process for me is harder if I'm a beginner. So if you are a beginner, you can purely start with technical analysis, which we are going to reduce the decision making process. For example, if you are going to use a technical analysis, let's say you're going to use moving average. If I'm going to use moving average, it's easy for us to apply. Uh, all of us, we know that if our market is uptrend, we need to buy. So technical analysis like your moving average is enable you to identify the market trend easily. It's easy for you to make a decision. But when it comes to tech, uh, fundamental analysis, the interpretation might need start first thing, might need our experience to make a correct decision as well. So that's the reason why, the third reason is why we can start technical analysis is in terms of decision making. So in short, there are three groups of uh, traders that we can identify that can start purely with technical analysis. So just now I already highlighted the first one, which is you are beginners, you can purely start with technical analysis. Second group of traders is if you're not trading a big volume. For example, big volume, many of you will ask me what kind of interpretation of big volume. Big volume easy to let you to have a benchmark is like every time when you execute, every time when you execute, if you execute more than 10 contracts, then you are considered a big trader. But if you execute anything less than 10 contracts, every time when you execute, it's not accumulated. Uh, then you can consider yourself as smaller traders. You can purely start with technical analysis. The third type, the third group is if your portfolio total value is less than 500,000, which is a smaller portfolio value, you can purely use technical analysis in your trading. You will not face any difficulty. So many of you will say that, hey, how big is considered big? So I give you a benchmark, anything less than 500,000, you consider a, a small portfolio, you can purely use a technical analysis. So just a very quick summary, three type of group of traders, you can purely start with technical analysis first, if you are beginners, you can directly go with technical analysis without fundamental analysis, you are good to go with. Second type, if you're not executing many contracts, if your trading volume is not big, you can purely start technical analysis. And the last one, if your portfolio is not big, meaning anything less than 500,000, you can purely start with technical analysis. There's no issue. So I hope that this clarified because many of the traders, they find that it's very challenging. Even sometimes when they wanted to start, right? A bit hesitation because you're not sure whether am I correct just to use technical analysis or not or should I use a combination of fundamental and technical or should I only use fundamental analysis. So I'm going to assure you with this particular topic, you're in the correct direction. So this comes to the end of our session for today. Uh, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channels and on your notification bell. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And I'm going to see you in our next video. Bye-bye.